OQD scheduling tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use OQD scheduling to organize your availability to create your online store. How you can simply schedule different events, meetings, and appointments using OQD. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply open up QuedyScheduling.com and you will land right here. So equity is provided by Squarespace. If you already have a Squarespace account and you're creating a website on Square, you will be able to access equity, but you can also, you know, get to equity with its own domain name. So this is actually a pretty good platform that has all the right features and tools for us to schedule our appointments. And if you're running an online business and you want to create online appointments, you want to allow your users to book online then you should definitely integrate your acuity to your squarespace website to get started what you have to do is you simply click on try it out now and after that you will be able to sign up with your email address or your google account so once you sign up this is where you will get and we just have to set up our equity scheduling and after that we will be able to use it and we will be able to schedule appointments using equity so let's start with the process of course uh, the first step is make scheduling easy and fast so we have to enter our business name and industry so for business name you will of course enter the name of your business so we have our own you know therapy so this is our business name and this is our industry and in industry you get a lot of different options such as you know education bakery whatever shop you're creating on your squarespace you can simply enter your industry so we are in massage and therapy so we're gonna select this one after that you have to set your availability you can do that in the next step as well in depth but this is like just a preview to set up your equity so i'm just gonna quickly you know go ahead and select the days there you go click on next so when it comes to setting your availability you can select the days and after that you have to select your time let's say that i'm available on monday i'm available from 7 a.m to 5 p.m so that's what you have to do you will simply you know enter your availability and after that you will enter the rest then you have to select what type of services do you offer so you are going to be you know scheduling appointments or classes so it is going to be appointment which is like one-on-one -on -one service or with classes of course there's going to be a session now set up your first appointment type so my first appointment is going to be a therapy session okay and then the price for this one is 69 dollars and the duration is 120 minutes and then simply click on next the next thing is of course adding a payment method you can skip this for now and it will take you to your equity so this is our equity right here and you can see i have kind of like checked this one set your availability we just did right and create our first appointment and we did that too now the third step is going to be customizing your scheduling page so let's go to our page and this is the page that people will actually check out and this is how they simply you know book appointments so this is the preview what my users will see when they will be booking appointments on my website so now we have our own calendar so i can go with a daily one or a monthly one template so i'm gonna go with a monthly template after that this is going to be my business name you can see right here we have this type of thing now when it comes to week starts on so the week actually starts on monday not on sunday and then the time format you have to select so i'm gonna go with this one from like the am and pm one i'm not going with a 24 hour one because it's confusing for some people uh, the language is going to be english and after that you have to select the time zone so the time zone for my business is going to be alaska time so this is the time and people will be able to know that this is gmt after that require clients to choose their own time zone so yes i want them to choose their time zone and it will help me provide good services after that we have different fonts and i can change the body background i can change the header type so this is the preview and i can now change it if i want to i can change the text color i can change but this one actually looks pretty decent like simple black and white i don't want to go over the board 
simply click on save changes and the appearance of the page your scheduling page will be saved on equity all right so the appearance is done i am actually gonna view a client's scheduling page from a client's point of view so let me actually show you what scheduling page we just created and there you go you can see we have this page this is my business name and we have choose appointment they will be able to select appointment type this is the appointment type which is available and this is the time zone then they will simply enter their info and confirm a appointment and then i will get a course notification right here on my equity and i will be able to provide them services and book their appointments online so that's how easy it is now the fourth step is sync your equity with your calendar so it will really help you organize your experience and we can actually integrate our google calendar icloud outlook office we have outlook exchange we have outlook.com and one way subscription so you can go with any of these i personally have google calendar and if you're using google you will have your own google calendar so it's very easy you don't even have to get another you must have icloud too or maybe outlook so what you have to do is you simply click on this option which is connect to google calendar now it will allow me to choose from my google calendar you can see right here allow and there you go my calendar has been integrated to my equity so this is my google calendar that has been integrated to my equity right here and now i can actually you know get a calendar view as well and i will be able to manage my equity better a few of the other options that we get on equity of course we have to customize our email and text reminders then we have accept payment so i will quickly show you how you can customize your emails if we go to reminders um it will allow you to create this reminder for your clients and they will get a reminder that they have this session in you know maybe 20 minutes or tomorrow so this is like a template that's available this is appointment reminder and it will automatically you know save all of the appointment details you can go with the template you don't even have to start from the scratch so this is actually a pretty good template very basic one i will click on save template and it will be saved and it will be you know sent as a reminder to my clients after that we have cancellation email so of course if you're canceling any appointment so this is where we simply add our cancellation email again i can select from a template it will get all the information right like what has been cancelled when where and you can see your appointment has been successfully cancelled so this is kind of like email that they will get i will simply click on save template again and it will be saved similarly we have rescheduling and follow-ups package gift subscription paid or subscription cancelled emails that we can simply create within our equity so you can see that's done you can go to accept payment so this is an important part of booking appointments on equity right so with equity we get a lot of different options that's really amazing we're getting stripe so with stripe we will be able to accept payments through our credit card so that's amazing then we have square and then we have paypal so that's really easy for clients to pay and all i have to do is i will connect my stripe you can see it says not connected okay so what you have to do is you can select the currency as well I'm going with USD. I am going to be accepting payments in USD. After that, we also have like require full payments. I don't want deposits or anything. Now, what I have to do is I will simply go to my, you know, not connected right here. I will click uh, on the connect option. And when you click on connect, it simply allows you to add your information. Like it will ask me to add my Stripe, you know, options right here, the information, and I will be able to connect my Stripe. Similarly, I will simply add my email for my PayPal and they will simply connect it to my equity right here and people will pay me directly to my stripe or to my PayPal. so that's how easy it is with equity to schedule meetings and it's really really fun too it's not difficult at all uh, one more thing that we get with our equity is that we can not only integrate our calendars we can also integrate maybe our invoicing and accounting 
platforms are email marketing, uh, you know, platforms, analytics, Google Sheets, Gmail, and many other platforms, Zapier, Zoho, whatever you want to connect, you can connect it to your social media as well. You can simply connect them right here to your equity. And the last step is, of course, add scheduling to your website. You simply click right here and it takes you to Squarespace where you're creating a website. But not only Squarespace, you can connect your equity to any of your website. So we have option of Squarespace. Uh, this is very easy if you're using Squarespace. If you're using another platform, so we get our own direct link. All you have to do is this: you copy this one and you add this to your, you know, website, and it's added to your website. You can create a booking button on your website as well, and this is what you will add. You simply copy, go to your website where you're creating. I should have actually opened up my Squarespace website, but it's very easy. You simply, you know, copy from here whatever option you have. And then you create a button on your website like we usually do, right? You're Maybe you're creating a website on Wix. So you will simply create the option of button. And in button, you will add this link. And then whenever somebody will click on your booking button on your website, they will be driven to your equity and to this page right here. They will be able to book appointments that you have set up for them. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use Agony for scheduling. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.